Welcome to activity one. This is actually quite a fun little uh, activity where you're going to take small tiny shapes and dilate them into something much bigger. Now so many things in our current world do that so simply whether that's uh, we expand a picture in a word document and it keeps it proportional whether that's different sizes of, of pictures and we get the eight and a half by ten or we get the three by five or so many things we do now work proportionally and we don't even recognize all of them. Where the uh, thought of this particular activity came from when when I was a little boy I remember an older brother doing an art project and he had a Disney book that we had owned and he had made a little grid around the face. Now I can't draw a, a Disney fig figure so here's my car but basically what he did is he made a grid inside of this uh, of the object and then he went and created a proportionally large grid with the same amount of lines and and so on and then whatever he saw in that little spot he copied over here so the idea would be that this would look like this that piece is that little piece right there and magically that little face of I think it was goofy all of a sudden was enlarged to scale and quite interesting to see it, it, I, it, it obviously still sits on my mind as something uh, I really was captivated by this particular uh, project doesn't quite handle um, the enlargement that way. What it does is it says that if we have a, a point and we um, have an object, we can dilate that object two, three times larger. Let's say we wanted to make this person three times larger. What you can do is pick a location on the body and you would draw a ray through that and then dilate it once, twice, and three times. So this would be the location of that waist of the body. Now let's move the feet. So this would be one, two, three. This would be the location of that foot. We'll call it F1 there. Let's do the other uh, foot. One, two, three it would be here. So actually the body now has been expanded, the legs and the torso there have been expanded three times bigger. I could continue on, I could uh, expand the neck here so I would draw my ray and I would do one, two, three and I find my body there. And off I go, I would continue on. I'm using my hand compass you of course would have a ruler and a compass to do this. Now with things like circles, things like that, what I normally do is I only do a couple of points, maybe the one off the top and we get a location, maybe one off the side and we would get a location. I'm kind of just estimating it in now um, and that's kind of what we would expect you to do is you don't have to do thousands of points, just do key points that help you move to those locations. All right, let's take a look at it. All right, the project itself uh, kind of starts with a warm-up problem, giving you this little plant. And you can see I've started the dilation process already. I picked a couple of points along the edge of the plant, and then you can see that I've dilated it three times bigger. I just thought I'd show you the process. So you, you basically highlight a location of the edge. Now this is better done with a pencil because you can actually take some of these lines out later but I'm going to kind of lightly draw in the ray that goes through that upper right corner of the pot and then what you do is you take out your compass and you say all right how far is that and you measure it and that would be one and then you would have two and then you would have three and guess what? It actually worked out to be pretty good because I would have expected the top edge of the pot to be along that edge there. Um, maybe I want to get the bottom edge of that pot, so uh, of the ledge there. So I place it, take some time here and, uh, you know, create the right rays. 
and then again measure this some of these are quite small little measurements so be careful with them one two three and it kind of again lands where i might expect it right here and um well let me do one more just so i can get a little bit of the shape of my pot going i'm going to do this edge here and find it off it goes and i'm going to do three of those let's see there's one and it's got to stay on the right ray two three and that allows me to close out my upper part of my pot maybe one last thing i'll do and then we'll kind of show you the end of it but i i like this this is fun it's neat to see it uh, grow one two three I'm going to do something that isn't exactly advisable, but I noticed that these go to a location. I, I could find that location, but I'm actually going to, for the sake of my time, just rough it in a little bit. And at least in my case, I don't expect students to have everything, you know, purely uh, exact. Um, but the key point, so what I do is I highlight probably the outer edge of each petal, kind of where the petals start, maybe where they touch. Um, but again, just to give it some framework, and then I expect students to kind of fill in the blanks. This one was kind of the practice one, and then I kind of have said, uh, you know, do one of these on the back. Over the years, those students have said, could I do something different? And actually, I love that question. And so maybe they want to create um, where it all began for me was the upscaling of Goofy. And what you could do uh, is place uh, your point down your center of dilation and then what i would suggest is kind of make sure it's going to fit so what i mean by that is this point here is kind of the furthest away so i'm going to create uh, that point and uh, this is down at the very bottom of his outfit and so i'm also going to test that one out and maybe the very uh, tip of his nose I'm also going to test out so if I was to scale goofy um, I just want to make sure he would all fit on the paper so I would go to his very neck so that would, and I'm going to do it you could do it two times which definitely would fit I want to make them really big I want to make them three times bigger so that's this location top of his hat now that's the one i gotta make sure it's gonna fit in here so there's one to there two and then uh, three so sure enough this would actually work out really nicely and maybe let me just do his nose uh, and i'm able to do one two three yeah he's gonna work out perfect so what I kind of did is tested kind of the limits of his size so he's gonna land right in here and um, and what I would do is not use a pen like I'm using I would use a pencil do it very lightly and so you can erase some of the extra lines when you're done and you will get like a duplicate of this this is a fun project really enjoy it